Good day and welcome. Today, we are starting an interesting series on planet Earth. Today, we will learn more about the Earth that travels in an orbit, or pathway, around the Sun, and this takes about 365 days. The Earth also spins on its own axis, and it takes about 24 hours to spin once. Here's a question for you, why is there a leap year? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Stick around until the end for some thought-provoking questions to test your understanding. Challenge yourself and see how well you've grasped the material. It's a fantastic way to boost your confidence. Please do not forget to like and subscribe so that you do not miss our weekly uploads. Let's get started. The solar system has one star at its center called the Sun. The word solar means of the Sun, which is why we call it the solar system. The Sun is a huge, burning ball of gas made mostly of hydrogen and helium, and it has eight planets that orbit around it. The Sun provides light and heat to all the planets. It is so big that over a million Earths could fit inside it. Sometimes, we see dark spots on the surface of the Sun. These are called sunspots, and they are cooler areas compared to the rest of the Sun's surface. Sunspots appear and disappear over time and help scientists learn more about the Sun's activity. Like all the planets, the Earth is not still, but it moves through space. We cannot feel the Earth moving because we are moving with it. The Earth moves in two main ways, rotations and revolutions. A globe is a model of the Earth. Let's now talk about the movement of the Earth around the Sun. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. The Earth moves around the Sun in a pathway we call the Earth's orbit. When an object moves around another object in space, the complete movement is called revolution. We say that one object revolves around the other. So, the movement of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution, and we say that the Earth revolves in its orbit around the Sun. The Earth moves around the Sun in an anti-clockwise direction. A clockwise direction is the same direction that the hands of a clock move around the face of the watch or clock. An anti-clockwise direction is one that is the opposite of the clockwise direction. The Earth takes about 365 days to travel once around the Sun. The Earth travels very fast in its orbit, moving at about 108,000 km per hour, or 30 km in one second. If you could drive as fast as this, it would take about 47 seconds to travel from Cape Town to Johannesburg. Even at that speed, it takes the Earth about 365 days to revolve around the Sun once. This is how many days there are in a year, so the Earth revolves around the Sun once in a year. From the time school ends one year to the time it ends the next, the Earth has traveled around the Sun once. The movement around the Sun causes changes in weather known as seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. The Earth moves around the Sun in a path shaped like an oval. As the Earth travels along this path, it is in different positions at different times of the year. These positions are important because they change how much sunlight different parts of the Earth receive, which is what causes the seasons. For example, when the Earth is in one part of its orbit, it may be summer in the northern hemisphere and winter in the southern hemisphere. Six months later, the Earth will be on the opposite side of the Sun, and the seasons will switch. We have seen that the Earth moves or revolves around the Sun. Added to this, the Earth also spins or rotates on its own axis. So, the Earth has two types of movement, revolution and rotation. We have already talked about revolution of the Earth around the Sun, now let's dive in and learn more about rotation. Imagine a line passing through the center of the Earth from north to south. This line is not really on the Earth, it is an imaginary line. 
It is called the Earth's axis. One end of the axis is at the Earth's North Pole, and the other end is at the Earth's South Pole. So, the axis is an imaginary line passing through the center of the Earth from the North Pole to the South Pole. The Earth turns around on its axis. When something turns round and round, or spins, on an axis, we say that it rotates. The Earth rotates from west to east, in an anticlockwise direction. The Earth takes about 24 hours to spin round on its axis once. The time that the Earth takes to rotate once is called a day. This means that every day, the Earth spins around once. It spins very fast, but we do not feel its movement because we travel along with it. The turning of the Earth on its own axis causes day and night. The side of the Earth that is turned to the Sun has daytime. The side of the Earth that is turned away from the Sun has nighttime. So, this means that the Sun does not actually rise or set. The axis of the Earth is not straight up and down, but tilted at an angle of about 23.5 degrees. This tilt is very important because it causes the seasons. As the Earth moves around the Sun, different parts of the Earth get more direct sunlight at different times of the year. When the Northern Hemisphere is tilted toward the Sun, it gets more sunlight, so it's summer there. At the same time, the Southern Hemisphere is tilted away from the Sun, so it's winter there. The tilt of the Earth's axis is why we have different seasons, even though the Earth always travels the same path around the Sun. When it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it will be winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Also, when it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere, it will be summer in the Southern Hemisphere. Let's finish up by talking about leap years. A leap year happens every four years to keep our calendar in line with the Earth's journey around the Sun normally. We think of a year as having 365 days, but the Earth actually takes about 365 and a quarter days to complete one full orbit around the Sun. If we didn't account for that extra quarter day each year, over time, our calendar would slowly drift away from the actual seasons. After four years, those extra quarters add up to make one whole day. So, to make up for it, we add an extra day to the month of February, giving it 29 days instead of 28. This year, with 366 days instead of 365, is called a leap year. By adding this extra day every four years, we keep the calendar in sync with the Earth's orbit, ensuring that the seasons stay the same each year. Without leap years, over time, the seasons would slowly shift, and things like summer and winter wouldn't match up with the months anymore. We have come to the end for today. We have seen that the Earth revolves around the Sun and also rotates on its axis. But before we go, please attempt the following questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. This is an important section that consolidates what you have learned. In the next video, we will be looking at the surface of the Earth including rocks and soil types. Be sure to check out the link for this in the description for more videos. Also, please do not forget to like and subscribe so that you do not miss our weekly uploads. Otherwise, thank you for watching and keep well.